So your lordships will, well, my respect would please consider the decisions and then whatever the outcome is, let the outcome be. But a shortcut of this nature. Will... <laughs> so sorry to keep you waiting. I hope not nothing. Yeah, yeah. no, it's okay. Thanks, thanks so much. But uh, sorry to keep all of you waiting. It was because of me really that it was you were all held up. Okay, I'm I'm glad. Sorry, Mr. So much I was on the list of dates. Yes. Let me finish that first. Because Mother, they voted against the party whip, so all 39 were involved there, Mother. So 16 earlier, then on the 27th, Mother, the balance 22, for which Mother's notice has not yet been issued, and all 39 now. Because this is 21B, that's 21A. And even for this notice has not been issued. So this 3rd July was issued against how many, you say? 39. 39. For two under two one B for violating the whip fresh, and two one A. I'm sorry, fresh one, fresh one, two one A. Malad sixteen earlier for which notice was issued and twenty two later for which Malad's petition was filed. But then of course next day was the trust vote. I mean there was a decision and therefore no notice has been issued here. Even now notice has no notice has been issued. So those are all pending. And now the thirty nine. Now the thirty nine. That's correct. That's correct. So, this is the tit for tat bullets. This is not an argument that I wish to make for us. On 3rd of July 2022, just after being elected as the Speaker of the House, Narvekar entered the political thicket and issued a communication late in the evening on 3rd of July, illegally recognizing Bharat Gogavale as the Chief Whip and Eknath Shinde as the leader of the party. On how basis did he do that, Bhalas? This is under challenge. Wonder which power did the speaker do that? Your lordship knows, Malach, this has to come from the political party. Leader of the house has to come from the political party that I, this is, he is our leader of the house, Malach. That letter is written by the speaker, Malach. For example, Malach, recently, when Malach, um, Mr. Kharge became the whip, uh, became the leader of the Congress party, it is Mrs. Gandhi who wrote a letter saying that now, instead of Gulam Nabi Azad, Mr. Kharge is the leader of the party. I have the letter with me. So this is the, this is the, on what basis did the speaker do it? And well, as when your lordships will see the petition before the election commission, till the 18th of July, there is no reference to any meeting of any political party. So all this was happening outside the political party. So, Malaz, what's happening here is, Malaz, that the legislative party, a majority in the legislature of the uh, Maharashtra Legislative Assembly is right. treating itself as the political party and making orders for its own benefit. That's the constitutional issue that your lordships will have to decide. But who represents the political party is... Uh, is, the, is I mean, As I said, Malaz, it... The two offices, well, that, that, uh, that is the leader of the op three offices, chief whip and whip are appointed by the political party and conveyed to the speaker. Are the chief whip and the? And the deputy whip. The deputy whip. So these are, these are offices, well, that, that that are bridged between the political party and the legislative and then party. according to who determines who is the political party? I'm sorry? Who determines who is the political party? There's no party? challenge here. No, I mean, ultimately, who is interested with the authority to decide? They have to have a split in the party first. Otherwise, how do you determine under the ten so schedule? If there's a contest on who represents the political party, who will decide? There's no contest, Malas. This is not their case. Malas, please appreciate. Till all this is happening, it is not their case that there is a political split in the political party. It is nobody's case. No, but they say they are the Shiv Sena. Facts here, but who will then have the authority to decide who is the political party? That's right. Now you go, what you do is call a meeting of the political party. Supposing, Malaza, let's forget about the 10th schedule. Let's not talk of the 10th schedule. Malaz, I happen to be a faction in the party and I say, look, actually the majority of the party is with me. So I like can requisition a meeting of the party. Forget the 10th schedule. And Malaz, after a requisition of meeting of the party, Malaz, I take over. But so I am the party. By majority, I take over. Against you. And there's nothing to do with the 10th schedule. I'm, I'm not talking about the 10th. 
I'm sorry. Test as they have said. Sorry. The test in Saudi Kali. Test in Saudi Kali is nothing to do with this issue, Malaj. That's not. I am not talking of the tenth schedule now. I am talking generally how a faction in a party can take over the party. Forget the tenth schedule. Now, now Malaj, forget that 1985 tenth schedule was not there. Then also this question would arise. But this question would arise only if there is a division in the legislative party. D or the tenth schedule. I hope, Malaz, I made myself clear. D or the tenth schedule, this question can arise. That people in the legislative party can say that, look, no, we don't agree with your policies. Let's call a meeting of the party. Right? In that meeting, Malaz, they feel that they are a faction who are entitled, Malaz, to the symbol of the party. They want to set up a separate party. Right? They can go and say that. We, the legislators, along with the organizational structure, are the party, separate party. Give us the symbol. We are the majority. Forget the tenth schedule. It can happen even out. But that can only happen if there is a split in the legislative party. Correct, Malach? It can only happen then. Otherwise, it's a normal procedure of taking over the presidentship of the party. Sadiqali, the same thing happened. There was a split in the, in the legislative party and the political party. And in Sadiqali, they said that, look, as far as the organizational structure is concerned, on both issues, on both issues, they are entitled to, the other side is entitled to the symbol. That's fine. No issue. Here, mothers, this split should have happened on the 21st of June. There's nobody's case. In the political party. Why? Because para 15 of the 10 schedule says that two, if there are two factions, and the symbols order says, if there are two factions resulting from a split in the political party, then the question of symbol will arise. Right, Malaj? It is nobody's case here. Nobody has, they say they are the Shiv Sena. Why? Because they are 40. So how does a majority in, a, in the legislative assembly become the Shiv Sena? Then, Malaj, if the, in the Congress in, 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 in Goa, if majority of the Congress legislators join, as they do, Malaj, I have been seeing this happen again and again, Malaj, then, then they are the Congress. They can say they are the Congress. But how can they say that? Therefore, Malaj, this has grave consequences on the polity of this country. Because now the legislative party seems to believe that it can, under the 10th schedule, proclaim itself to be the political party and throw out office bearers who are appointed by the political party in the House. Constitutionally, that cannot be countenanced. Who appoints the leader of the House? Says. In exercise of my power as chairperson of the Congress Parliamentary Party, I hereby make the following ap appointment to the Rajya Sabha. Shri Kharge, MP leader of the Congress Party against the vacancy of Gulam Nabi Azad, uh, whose term in the Rajya Sabha has come to an end on 15th February. This is a letter written by the Congress to the UPA chairperson to the Speaker, to the chairman of the Congress, or the Rajya Sabha. That's how, that's how Malaz people are appointed. Can Malaj, Mr. Kharge on his own, or could he have said that I am the leader? I have so many MPs, so I am the leader. The same thing with the whip. Now Malaj 57. The newly elected speaker in an illegal, arbitrary, and blatant display of malafide. And how do you know Malaj, allow this speaker to decide this matter when he's been doing these things? Your Lordship Malaj has great, great, um, what should I say, confidence in the constitutional office of the speaker, Malas. Great confidence. But do they discharge this confidence? But that confidence you also yes. have when you say that that speaker had to decide yes. a disqualification petition. Yes, correct, Malas. It will be subject to challenge. It's subject to challenge. Right. And that is not dependent on who is the speaker, Mr. Sibir. No, Malas, I'm sorry. I've, that speaker did not do anything like this, Malas. You have to now see, kindly see, look what is happening. But the constitutional authority of the speaker to decide 
is not based on who the speaker is on what decision Maharaj, can, he is can ever a uh, finding of bias be reached by a constitutional court you lordships will say no uh, let's put it another constitutional issue if a constitutional authority has so conducted itself that a constitutional court comes to the con conclusion that such a constitutional authority cannot discharge the functions that it is discharging because of its open bias. Your lordships will say, no, we let them decide. I don't know, Malad. I don't have the answer for it. No, not necessarily. In Rameshwar Prasad, with respect to a governor, governor, the yes. of this court that uh, if there is an allegation of bias, then government has to come and defend it. Malad, that's exactly. It's possible, not that the court will naturally do it, but then we all are proceeding on the premise that, in fact, your argument has been in the first part also, that so far as the speaker is concerned, the constitutional authority. No, but see what he has done. He has appointed the whip. He has appointed the leader of the house. When, what kind of confidence can we have this, in this constitutional authority? Who, without reference to the political party, is doing all this? Do you think he can ever decide in my favor? There is no way. But then you have the first speaker that defines of the legislative rules gives two days notice. I'm sorry. No, that is in defiance of the Malaz, legislative rules Malaz, gives Malaz, two days notice. What Malaz, is all that, that the your lordship? Yeah, 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 all this is the way everybody is behaving. And that's correct. So what do we do, Malaz? Your lordship will then have to. There, there are two options. Either are you deep, either you debunk the authority of the speaker. Or you say, I said that on, what I said that on day one, Malaz. Ultimately, irrespective of what lesser yes, mortals decide, ultimately, in a democracy, you, you value the office or the institution. Then, then, then that 27th if order we, should if not... If we start, if we say... If correct, we then, then start, the 27th order should not have been passed. Denigrating constitutional officers, including the office of a speaker... Malaz, they are denigrating they themselves. So it's a, it's a... They are denigrating themselves. We are not denigrating No, anybody. Mr. Sibyl, there's, there's some problem. It's a race to the bottom, then. Yes, we have. We have to start Muller's uh, 